Hello everyone and welcome to today's Daily Digest. Today's Wednesday, best day of the week. <laughs> and I'm back in the dungeon. Um, I've been filming a lot this morning. I've been um, teaching... I've been teaching... What have I been teaching? Ooh, oh, I was teaching articles. <laughs> I was teaching articles using paper and Lego. It's quite fun. Um, I really wish that I could show you some of these classes that I'm making, <laughs> but I can't. But you'll see them soon. <laughs> um, so, uh, a few things to talk about today, a few exciting things to talk about. Um, and we're going to start with, with this. It's a bottle of whiskey and this little thing here, this little cup. Now, the reason that I have this whiskey and this cup is not because I'm depressed <laughs> and I need a boost or it's not and, and it's not because I'm I'm celebrating no it's because today's word of the day is a dram now a dram is an old measurement it's a measurement of weight and also of, of fluid and it is an avoir du poids measurement, uh, which means that it's like old fashioned. So this dram, for example, this is one eighth of a fluid ounce. And an ounce is one sixteenth, I think, of a... I'm not sure because I use met the metric system because the metric system is beautiful. Millimeters, centimeters, meters grams, kilograms, it's, it's, it just makes sense, it's logical. Um, but this is a very old-fashioned measurement, a dram, and it's quite common to drink a dram of whiskey. Now, I, I, someone bought me this as a present. This is uh, uh, from Scotland, you can see it has a, a picture of a, well actually it's, it's a, uh, not an engraving, it's a, uh, I don't know what to call it, it's like, Embossed? I'm not sure what what type of. Well, anyway, um, there, there's a there's a deer and some birds, uh, and at the top there is an inscription, and it says, "He that hath this cup in his hand, drink up the dram and let it not stand." What a great little rhyme! So, if you have a dram of whiskey, drink it up. Don't let it stand. <laughs> um, and, and so you can use dram to talk about like a little, like a little bit, basically, you know, oh, have a dram of, uh, have a dram of patience for God's sake, for example, or a um, little bit. Um, well, I only had a little dram of panettone. <laughs> Actually, there's, there's a lot of people who are very upset about my pronunciation of, of panettone. <laughs> now, in English, we don't have any words that end in that E, eh, that kind of Italian E eh sound. If we have a vowel at the end of a word, it's E, like happy, or quickly, or funny. All of our words are E. So when we see a word, an Italian word, we automatically make an E, panettone. But of course, the reality is it's panettone. It's an E. But that sounds affected and, and strange, you know, in English. So, okay, next thing I want to talk about is this, your fingers. Because obviously you need your fingers to hold your dram, right? <laughs> and I was, this morning I was on the etymology uh, subreddit on Reddit because every morning I check Reddit, there's always interesting stuff on there. And somebody was talking about the names, the names of all the different fingers in different languages. And it's, it's fascinating. It's fascinating. So in English we have in English, we have thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and little finger, or pinky. So, your thumb, thumb, right? Because it's, it's not really a finger. Technically, it's not a finger. 
index finger for making indexes, right? Uh, your middle finger, because it's in the middle. <laughs> I'm, I'm such a great, a great explainer. <laughs> this is your ring finger, because this is where you wear your wedding ring, and your little finger, because it's a little baby, little baby finger. But it can also be called your pinky. Now, okay, let's have a look in, in Latin. Okay, in Latin, this one, the, your, your middle finger in Latin is called impudicus, which means shameless or indecent or offensive. Because, of course, you know, that's a very offensive symbol. And it's offensive now, and it was offensive back when people were speaking Latin. Hundreds of years ago, that was offensive. So this is, you know, a really powerful finger, the indecent finger. Um, this one in Latin was called the aurica, auricularis, auricularis. Auriculus is, of course, ear, because you use this to clean your ear. <laughs> How cool is that? It's your ear cleaning finger. Um, the, uh, what else? Um, so yes, uh, I'm just sorry. I'm trying to I'm trying to edit this as I as I speak. Um, uh, okay, so in Norwegian there is a nursery rhyme. Okay, and in the nursery rhyme it goes like this: thumb, licking finger, long finger, gold finger, little finger. So basically, this is your thumb, which is tom tot. Tom tot sounds like thumb, okay? And then you have the slickapot, because this is your licking finger. Now, there's two possibilities why this is your licking finger. Huh? Yeah. One possibility is because you lick your finger when you are making indexes. All right. Or the other possibility is this is called your licking finger because you use it to mix food. And so when you mix the food, then you lick the food off your finger. And in fact, it, I, in here it says in Scotland, this is called your porridge finger, informally, because you use this to stir your porridge. <laughs> Amazing. And, and this is your, um, your gold finger in, in, in Norwegian, because you wear your ring, gold finger, and your long finger. Ah. Um... Okay, in Spanish, this is called your pulgar, pulgar, and ready for this, ready for this, ready for this, um, uh, there is a nursery rhyme here, a nursery rhyme in, uh, I think it's in, in, in Portuguese, in Brazilian Portuguese, uh, that, uh, where is it, okay, here it goes, it goes, um, Mundinho, seu bicinho, pai de todos, fura bola, mata piolho. Which means, little finger, Mundinho, little finger, seu bicinho, which means his neighbor, it's the neighbor, okay, the next door neighbor of the little finger. Pai de todos, the father of all fingers, the big daddy finger. Fura bola, the one that pokes the cake. So again, it's related to food and cooking. And finally, the matapiolio, which literally means to kill the lice. Lice are little insects that live in your hair. And think about this, piolio in Spanish is pulga. It's una pulga, and this is your pulgar. This is the finger you use to kill fleas. Wow. Um, what, what other interesting things were there here? Um, um, yeah. <laughs> in, in Malaysian, this is called the Ibujari, which means the mother of all fingers. Because, <laughs> you know, these are sort of small and delicate, and here's the big mother finger. Um, I mean, it's just, there's just so much cool stuff in here. Even, even in Zulu. Even in Zulu. Um... This one here is called the, uh, wait for this, this, this finger is called the Isikombisa. Isikombisa, which means people pointer. 
because you use it to point to point at people. So, um, <laughs> I think that um, th this really isn't about learning English, right? It's not. Is there anything of great educational value in today's Daily Digest? No. But, you know, language is fun. It should be fun and, and, and fascinating and interesting. And, and it tells us about, about history and about the world and about people and how we're common in so many ways and, and distinct in so many other ways. And, you know, for me, I could happily teach English or I could teach Spanish, you know, if, if my Spanish was good enough. You know, for me, language is language. And having fun with it is so important. And so that's why, that's why I'm talking about weird things about fingers and, and drams. And so just try today to have, to, to just enjoy the process of language learning, have a little bit of fun and and that's it. Okay, got to go back to work. Um, thank you very much for my patrons too, for, for supporting me. Um, lots of love to you all. See you in class.